She was obsessed with him. That is the portrait the Commonwealth painted on day four in the murder trial of Shana Hubers. She's accused of shooting and killing her boyfriend, Ryan Poston. And as Local 12 Sydney Benter reports, today's testimony centered on unrequited love. He said to me, this is getting to be restraining order level crazy. I'm not kidding. You need to talk to her. She sent me 75 texts in the last hour. She's shown up at my condo like three times and refuses to leave each time. Ryan Poston's cousin says she was often the middleman between Hubers and Poston because Poston tried to avoid conflict. His stepfather, Peter Carter, also testified that Ryan told his on-again, off-again girlfriend that he was moving on. I told him to make sure that he was kind to Shana and that he told her honestly what was going on so that she didn't find out later that he was out with someone else. That someone was Audrey Bolte, Miss Ohio 2012. He was very funny and very smart and I found him very entertaining and that led me to accept an invite to go on a date with him. Carter testified that Poston asked him how to break the news to Hubers. The date with Bolte was set for October 12th, 2012, the day Shana Hubers shot him to death. Because my biggest issue, Dad, is I don't know what, you know, if I'm going to be able to do this, to go on that date, because Shana is always around. Poston never showed that Friday night. Just a week before that, his cousin got this message from Hubers. I'm at his house in northern Kentucky. Ha ha, I've had a key for over a year now. Never asked for it back even when we broke up, lol. Carlisle says her cousin told her he wanted to change his locks. He apparently never had the chance. In Newport, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. And one of Shana's cellmates also testified today. She says that Hubers told her that she was going to use an insanity defense, but she was too smart. Hubers told the cellmate that she would use a battered woman defense instead.